What's good YouTube? This is another tech guy and I'm going to take a quick look at the Neo Hybrid metal case by speaking for your iPhone 6 Plus. Now since the iPhone is a premium product, you want to get the most premium case you can find to keep it feeling good in your hand. They come in an assortment of colors, so if you want to get one for yourself, I will leave a link below for you to check it out for yourself. Now, this is a two-part case. Inside, we have the rubber material with the web pattern inside. Spigen says it helps with the drop protection if you just so happen to drop your iPhone. The metal portion of the case is a definite win. It feels really good in your hand with your iPhone 6 Plus. Now on the left side, you have the volume rocker buttons looking really great and the cutout for your mute toggle switch. For some, it may be an issue to get your finger through the little recess hole. For myself, not so much as I do have a little fingernail. Now on the bottom, you have the cutout for your speaker, the microphone, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and the lightning port. Only button on the right side is the power button. The case is slightly raised, so you can put your fears to rest about scratching your screen if you wanna lay the phone flat down. The beautiful part about this case is it accomplishes all this in a fairly small form factor, not adding a huge amount of bulk to your phone. Now don't get me wrong, with any case you will feel some bulk and a little weight, but the metal material feels really good in the hand, so this is a case I will be rocking on my 6 Plus for the foreseeable future. I know we all want to rock our iPhone naked because of the beauty, but let's face it, this is a very slippery phone. So the case actually helps out with that, with this rubberized uh, back, which is very grippy, that solves the slippery issue. So this case is definitely a win in the protection area. One thing I love about the, this case is it showcases the Apple logo. So you can blind the haters when the reflection from the logo shines in their face. Some people are concerned that the Apple logo will get scratched up, but as you can see, it is very recessed and you should be fine even if you drop it. The case also solves the camera hump issue on the iPhone, so laying it flat down on the back should be okay, shouldn't really cause you any real problems. So as you can see, I'm really impressed with this case. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or you can hit me up on Twitter at another tech guy. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do so as I will be uploading one video per week and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.